doesn't love a good day out at the beach? At least I do. The beach is the perfect place to forget about the stress of the city and all the things that keep us busy. And sometimes about the things that put us in a bad mood as well. When we think about a beach, we think of refreshing ocean waves and sunbathing on a chair while sipping on coconuts and delicious cocktails. On top of that, we also enjoy the view, and we probably wait for the sunset for hours in order to appreciate the different colors of the sky. Today, I've chosen for you some of the strangest yet most gorgeous looking beaches around the world. Now, these places are not your typical white, sandy, turquoise, water ideal beaches. The beaches on this list will definitely make you jump out of your seat and look for ways to get to them. My number one pick is a place so colorful and surreal that it'll make you think you're stepping into a dreamland. But all that's said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Chandipur, India. When people talk about beaches in India, they are likely to mention Goa, which is considered the ultimate destination for an Indian holiday by the water. However, the beach I chose is a 40-hour drive from Goa in the northeastern part of the country. What makes Chandipur so interesting is that the water recedes significantly during the ebb tide, allowing people to walk up to 5 kilometers into the ocean. It's as if people are walking on water. This phenomenon makes it possible for visitors to interact with creatures that they usually not see, unless they went for a snorkeling or diving trip. Some of the things that you can find within the spot are starfish, shells, and the horseshoe crab. If you're not a good swimmer or you never dare to go too far into the water, Chandipur is definitely worth visiting. Number 9. Red Sand Beach, Galapagos Islands, Ecuador. If you're serious about learning about the strangest beaches on Earth, you better get used to seeing different and exotic sand colors all around. Next on our list is a beach filled with red sand. This deep red color is a result of the high content of iron in it. If the red color is not striking enough, check out these guys who will be lounging under the sun with you, the sea lions. There's in fact a whole colony of them on the shores of Rabida Island, the one island in the Galapagos with the red sand. Feel free to hang out and take selfies with them, but stay away if you spot a bull sea lion. The reason being, he's very loud and overprotective of his colony. The red of the sand on this island blends perfectly with the Galapagos cactus and other rare trees, making up a landscape that you can't find anywhere else. Number 8. Hot Water Beach, New Zealand. Imagine owning your own spa on the shores of a beautiful beach. This fantasy is a full reality on the shores of Hot Water Beach, a New Zealand natural wonder where an underground hot water river flows out to the surface of this golden sand beach. Every year, thousands of visitors come to the place to dig their own spa pool in the sand to relax and enjoy the majestic views. The area is only accessible during low tide, but this will give you more than enough time to dig your own pool and relax with the steam from the hot river. The area has been well preserved by locals. In fact, some experts believe that the hot water beach and the places surrounding it are some of the longest inhabited areas in New Zealand, with the local tribes that have lived there for more than a thousand years. For that reason, they ask you not to eat or drink while you're in the hot pools and of course to keep the place tidy and clean. Number 7. Shell Beach, Western Australia. I guess the name is actually pretty explanatory. Located in the Shark Bay region in Western Australia, this beach is fully covered with shells. With a length of 60 kilometers, this beach is so long that you can't see where it ends. The cockle shell, which is the one on this beach, has easily survived thanks to the high salt levels in the water that made it difficult for predators to adapt and thrive in this environment. These shells form a kind of limestone called coquina, which used to be mined for the construction of buildings in neighboring cities. Luckily, the Shark Bay was declared a World Heritage Site and all the mining had to stop. Today, you can enjoy this beach while you venture into the Shark Bay region. Number 6. Papakolia, Hawaii, USA Just like the red sand in the Galapagos, the sand in Papakolia also gets a distinctive color due to its volcanic origins, the color being green. Being one of four beaches with green sand in the world, Papakalia sand is mainly made out of olivine, a green mineral that is usually part of the materials released by volcanoes in the region. Olivine is also known as Hawaiian diamond. While this mineral is common in many parts of Hawaii, Papakalia is the only beach where it blends with volcanic ash rather than lava rock. This allows for its green color to concentrate and make it so attractive and unique. The beach can only be accessed by foot down a rough path as car access is strictly prohibited by authorities to avoid erosion. Number 5. Vadu Island, Maldives. Ah, the Maldives. They never cease to amaze. Rising up as one of the hottest places on Earth, not just in temperature, but in popularity amongst travelers, this country is an absolute marvel. 
With so many islands in it, it's hard to choose one to start exploring. Today, I've chosen the Vaudu Island to be part of this list, and for a good reason. Vaudu is an island that is only a 15-minute boat ride away from the Maldives International Airport. With pristine waters and a white sand coastline, this island already has a lot of things to offer in the daytime. However, if you want to make the best out of your visit, you definitely need to check out the beach at night. What makes Vaudu so unique and beautiful is its bioluminescent beach. This phenomenon explains why people call it the Sea of Stars. Thousands of phytoplanktons come to the ocean to service at night and illuminate the water as if a bunch of stars had fallen on it. The phytoplanktons use the luminescence to protect themselves against predators. What works as a defense mechanism for them comes as a natural beauty for our eyes. Before you plan a visit, you must know that this phenomenon does not happen every night and staying in Vaudu can be quite pricey. So make sure you come to the Maldives for something more than just the bioluminescent beach. Number 4. Giant's Causeway, Northern Island This right here is a beach surrounded by a cliff and 40,000 basalt columns that were formed due to a volcanic eruption in ancient times. However, some folkloric tales claim that these columns are part of a long causeway built by a giant. I guess it explains the name for this place. Whether it was nature or a very creative giant, these basalt columns are something out of this world. While most columns have six sides, some others have four, five, seven, and even eight sides. It's pretty surreal, actually. The tallest one is 12 meters high, which is at least eight times taller than us. The tops of the interlocked columns form stones that take you from the foot of the cliff into the water. Besides the causeway, there are other rock formations around that are worth checking out, such as the giant's boot, the chimney stacks, the giant's harp, among others. You can indeed visit this place at no cost. It is a popular destination in Northern Ireland and the fourth greatest natural wonder in the UK. Number 3. Padar Island, Flores, Indonesia By now you've heard about red sand, green sand, white sand, a lot of sand, but now it's time you know about pink sand. Padar Island is a very remote and beautiful spot that you can hit on a boat ride on your way to Komodo Island. While this is not the only pink beach in Indonesia or in the world, this place is very unique due to its isolation and beautiful landscape. Starting with its pink sand made out of broken shells and coral pieces, this spot is also surrounded by turquoise water and lush green hills. If you're lucky enough, you might find a group of deer hanging out by the beach. This is also a perfect spot to relax, snorkel, and see a lot of tropical fish in their natural habitat. Get a camera ready and capture the beauty of this beach, because you're going to have a lot of backdrops to choose from as not many boats or tourists make their way over here. I guess some people will always prefer the busy popular tourist destinations rather than a remote and exclusive beach that looks like something out of a dream. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Let's take a look at this photo. When I first saw it, I really started to wonder how it's possible to have a beach in the middle of that. It definitely looks beautiful, but I'm not really sure how people managed to get in there. This made me do some research, though, about beaches, grottos, and caves, and that is how I came to find out about the two places at the top of our list. Number 2. Benegil Sea Cave Beach, Portugal Portugal is filled with lots of beautiful beaches touching the Atlantic Ocean, but the one on this list is like something out of a fairy tale. The Benegil Sea Cave Beach. As the name suggests, what makes this place so interesting and unique are the cave formations all around it. And although the sea cave is right around the corner from the main beach, it's not advised to swim there. But don't worry, there are plenty of boats that can take you there. Being such a beautiful destination, this place has gained a lot of popularity in recent years, so expect to make a long line while waiting for your boat during the summertime. You can avoid the crowds by waking up very early in the morning. It'll feel as if you were the first one to discover the cave. Another alternative is stand-up paddling or taking a boat from a city other than Benegil, such as Villamora or Lagos. Or Lagos, however you pronounce it. Taking the boat from a further distance will allow you to see other rock formations and natural wonders in the area. It's definitely something worth seeing in your lifetime. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Hidden Grotto Beach, Mexico Just off the coast of Puerto Valenta in a group of islands called Islas Mariantas, you can find one of Mexico's best kept secrets. Well, perhaps it's not so much of a secret anymore, especially if I'm putting it as number one on this list, but this beach is really unique. It's hidden under a cave with a hole on its rooftop where sunlight comes through. 
Although it is indeed a natural wonder and a very strange beach, the rooftop is said to be a result of the Mexican government testing bombs during World War I. They thought it was the perfect spot to do so as the islands were not occupied at the time. Getting to the island is a bit of a challenge, but it is worth it. After an hour-long boat ride from Puerto Vallarta, you need to get off your boat and swim or paddle your way to the beach. Once you reach a destination, you can take a sunbath or go on a snorkeling adventure and discover the coral reef around you. It doesn't matter how many people decide to come to this place, because you can expect this beach to keep its charm as the Marietta Islands were named a national park in 2005. This basically protects them from any human harm. And now are you ready for your next trip to the beach? I do sure hope you add one of these to your next holiday plans. And maybe you know of other beaches that are not on this list. Let us know in the comments section down below. Well everybody, that's our video for today, and I will see you all next time. Later everybody!